welcome to this video tutorial in this video tutorial we're going to be learning how to compile a less file into css without the use of the command line prompt so let's quickly get into it as you can see here i have three headers over here and i'm going to use less to compile this or i'm going to give a, a color to these headers and i'm going to use less to compile them into css so that this line of code here will pick up and then present it to the browser okay so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to create a new file and then that new file i'm going to create a css new file and then i'm going to save it as or i'm going to save it with a less extension so see i have the folder here okay less inside of here i'm gonna save it as style dot less yes. okay so as you can see here i have my less document or a css document but i made the extension to be dot less to indicate that it's a less file so i'm going to call out a variable i'm going to say a color and then i'm going to give it a color of red and then I'm going to call my h1 tag inside of my h1 tag I'm going to give it a color of the variable color which holds red so if I save this now and if we can check this out on the browser let's see you see that it changes to red so let's see how that was done so I open here I open up my last file I coded this and then it compiled it compiled into a CSS format to be presented to the browser what I did was I got the, I used this software called winless you can get winless on the internet you go to Google you, you click you, you search for winless you download it and then you install it afterwards you just come up here you add the folder where your, your last file is located you check that file and then you start to work on it you just minimize it you work on your code here you just hit save and then it compiles automatically for you okay so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using the command line prompt to also to, to also compile our last files and you're going to see the difference of using this software that I used right now and then the command line prompt so let's quickly get into it with the command line prompt with the command line prompt you have to find the directory of where your last file is so my last file is in the desktop and then uh, on my desktop it's in the folder called less inside my less folder it's also in a folder called css and inside my css folder that is where my less file is located as you can see here so to compile my less files into css i would have to use this line of code with the command using the command line prompt i'm going to say less c style.less to style.css then you just hit enter and then it's going to compile your last file into css as you can see it has compiled it for me and now i just hit save so that it can modify it as soon as i compile it but here the difference of using the, the command line prompt and then the software the winless software that we just used is that as soon as you make a change here on our last file let's say i create another variable i say it's called bg color and then i assign the color of yellow and then here inside of my h1 i give it a background color of my variable which holds a color of yellow as soon as i hit Control s this will never run unless i go to my command line prompt and then i type the same line of code style dot less to style dot css and then i hit enter as soon as i hit enter it compiles our last file into css and as soon as we refresh we're going to see the changes here 
so that is the vast difference between using the winless software and then the command line prompt as you can see it's very very hectic as soon as you make any change here in your editor you would have to come to your command line prompt and then compile it using this line of code every time but with a winless software you just have to hit control save from your editor and then it compiles it automatically so basically that is all for this tutorial and you can not only use the winless software there are a whole lot of softwares that you can use they are pre processed simplest and you can check it out for yourself but then using the command line prompt to compile this files the css is not uh, much of a good idea because it's a long way and it's very stressful i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial you can like it and comment below thanks for watching